Hello, this will be an overview of the MIPS dashboard in Jerrymed. In order to get to your MIPS dashboard, you will go from your home screen down to the quality programs button, and then up at the top here you will switch to your MIPS view. It will default to you as the provider and to the past 91 days. You can change this if you would like to look at a different provider or at a different date range. And then hit calculate. And now here are the categories of MIPS that you will be being scored on. The first of which is improvement activities, weighted at 15%. I can click there. It will take me to my list of improvement activities. And you simply hit that little check mark next to the activity that you want to say that you have accomplished. And as I check off those different activities, it will start adding up my improvement activity score up here for me. It will then weight that score, and over here in this corner, you will see your total weighted MIP score, which will change as you do different things in different categories. Advancing care information is weighted at 25%. Again, I can click here to go to my advancing care information dashboard, hit calculate once again, and now it's gonna show me my ACI measures. There are a few different measures here that I want you to be aware of. The first four are up here at the top, these are what we call your base measures. Each of these four have to be accomplished before you can move on to what we call your performance measures. And you can only get points once you start doing your performance measures. As you do these different items within GeriMed, in the background it is gonna calculate your points for you. You can see here I've done some medication reconciliations, I have opened up the patient portal to some of my patients, and because I did those different things, GeriMed is calculating my points for me. And I can again see that total point value along with my weighted ACI score, and again, that will add into that total weighted MIPS score. And then quality measures is one of the more important categories, since this is weighted at the 60%. Clicking there will take me to what we call our quality measure scorecard. This list you're seeing here is an example of the measures that we currently have loaded into the system. But keep in mind you only have to report on six of these measures in order to complete the quality measure category. So you can choose the six and we will take out the rest so you don't have to report on the ones that you don't want to. Now here on this scorecard, I can see for example, for my care plan measure that I'm reporting on, I have nine eligible patients, but my reporting rate is only at 11%, and I only have three out of 10 points total. So what I can do is hit the little folder next to that care plan measure. It will then take me to this screen, where it's gonna show me each of those patients that are eligible for that measure. The ones highlighted in green are already complete. The ones that are not highlighted means that I have not completed that measure for that patient yet. So I can hit, simply hit that QM button, it will take me to the measure, it will take me to the question or the statement that I need to address. I simply answer that question or address that statement with the appropriate answer, and then I hit save. Once I have hit save, you will see that that patient now pops up in green, meaning that they are complete. Closing out of here, I can then go to any of my other measures that I want to address. Maybe I want to look at my falls plan of care next. Same thing, I can go ahead and hit that folder button, but here I see that I am 100% complete. I do not have any patients that are not addressed. I can see that I am 100% complete, and I do not have any patients that are outstanding here. Going back to my home screen on my dashboard, Again, that total weighted MIPS score will always show up on the right-hand side of the screen. At the end of the year, this is what is going to determine whether or not you take a penalty, break even, or potentially even get a bonus payment. What you will see down here at the bottom is a button that will allow you to then submit your data to the registry. You can click on that button, it will then take you into screens that will ask you if you want to report as a group or if you want to report individually, and then there will be one more button that you click and that data will get sent off to CMS. And that is all you have to do.